So this course is a beginner's look at the Blender 3D software. We are members of the Wilcox High School Robotics team. Located in Santa Clara, we participate in the global talents known as FDC, in which members build and design a robot to perform specific tasks in a competition. In our, at our robotics club, we enjoy coordinating outreach events with our local and global communities. Blender is a program that we would use to make our 3D models in. It is free to use and open source. Blender is easy to learn, but it's also powerful. It is used widely in video game design, digital art, animation, and prototyping. So here's what we made in Blender, 3D art. Blender can also be used for engineering, but these are examples of all the versatile abilities that Blender has in the field of art. Of the lighting, of the compositing, of the modeling was done in Blender. And here's the roadmap for the program. Day one, we are doing an introduction, just learning what to use an interface in Blender and how, how to get started in Blender basically and manipulating objects. And this is a starter block project we're doing. On the second day, we're doing more advanced compositing and lighting. And on the third day, we're doing more of 3D modeling. So here's day one. We, we already went to the introduction and after this, we're just going to look around the user interface adding and mod mo modifying objects. And to do all of that, we are using a block project. Please open Blender on your computer if you haven't installed. If, you, if possible, please get an external mouse as it'd be extremely useful while running Blender because Blender has a lot of mouse movement involved. So here's the... Here's how you use Blender, shift and pan to move, zoom is a scroll wheel and orbit is a middle mouse button. I want to cover this in more detail. Yeah. Wait, uh, and right. um, yep, Jason, I'll you, um, explain the Jason UI. will be introducing you the um, UI. If anyone had any issues installing it, raise your hand and Andrew, if you could handle that, that'd be great. Um, let me share my screen. So, all right, um, this is what you should see when you start Blender. If you got the latest version, should be 3.2 with this nice splash screen here. Um, you won't see recent files because you don't have any recent files. Um, we'll go ahead. These are all the different options for creating a new file. Um, you can always change them, but we're going to start with a general file. Um, I'm going to take you through the basic um, UI, just so you know what you're looking at. Um, this is our list of uh, objects in your scene up here in the top right corner. Um, whatever is in your scene is going to be up here. Um, Blender uses a collections and pre-based um, system. so. Um, if you have a very big scene, you can organize your uh, objects into collections, like I can put this camera under collections, it's drag and drop. And then if I just wanted to hide uh, the cube and the light, and I didn't want to hide the camera, I could hide those, hide the collection, and I don't have to see it, but I still have my camera. Um, that's just some basic stuff. And then down here on the side and the right, um, we have our full box basically. Um, some things we'll be using is our scene controls. This is for our render engine. We'll go over that later. Um, this is output. This is your resolution. Um, modifiers, we will be used. We probably will be using modifiers, not today. Um, important ones. This is our materials. We will be using that, especially next week when we create a lantern. Um, and that's our most basic things. Uh, down on the bottom here is our controls for uh, videos. We won't be using that. And up here is our toolbar. It has all the different tools. Um, and Ion will be showing you how to use those. 
Um, before we get started, I would like everyone to make sure they they have their settings correct. Go under edit and then go to preferences. Um, and then under preferences, you'll go to system. And uh, based on your device, what you're using right now, I would like to, to select the um, option that's best for you. If you only have a CPU, please use none. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, please use Optics or CUDA. And if you have an AMD graphics card, please use HIP. Um, I think that's it. All right, Ion, if you want to take over. Uh, somebody asked a question uh, in the chat for you, Jason. Would you like to answer that? Um, what is the camera for? Um, so the camera is basically a simulation of a real digital camera. Um, like you can go into the camera properties and change the lens, the size of the lens, all real camera things. Um, you can even do depth of field, which is more advanced. Um, it's basically because when there is a simulation, it has to simulate how camera reacts. Um, don't see preferences. Okay. Um, it's under edit. Under edit, it should be the last one. Um, if you still don't see it, um, we can do that in a breakout room. Uh, Ion, if you want to get started, then. Yeah, um, I'll get started. Uh, one second. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay. Uh, so you sh you should be on uh, the screen right here um, with a Blender open. Uh, I assume that you you don't really have like anything moved around, uh, your screen should look like this for the most part. Um, so let's just go over how to move around your your 3D viewer uh, right here, uh, this area, uh, this box right here. This is called your, three, uh, your 3D viewer, right? And um, in order to see your scene, in, in order to see what you're making, you're going to have to be able to move around and, uh, and look at and look at what, what you're making from uh, different angles. Right, uh, so uh, there's three main controls to this. There's orbiting, there's zooming, and then there's panning. So orbiting is basically what, what I'm doing right here. I'm, I'm basically rotating uh, my, uh, my view around, the, around like a center, right? Uh, you can do this by, uh, by pressing your uh, middle mouse button. Uh, if I share my, actually, uh, yeah, so um, on your mouse, right? If you if you press down your scroll wheel, uh, if you have an extra external mouse, and you press down your scroll wheel, uh, you should be able to. Um, it it should be a button, and if you just press down that button, if you if you hold down that button and move your mouse around, you should you should be able to. Um, um, you should be able to just orbit around. Uh, so can everyone try orbiting around uh, their, their center object? Okay, awesome. Uh, so now that I have that down, we can do zooming. So zooming uh, is right here. You can you can move closer or farther away from from getting your center point. Uh, you can zoom by just uh, scrolling up and down the scroll uh, the scroll wheel. Uh, so just give that a try. Okay, now that we have that, we'll do panning. So panning allows you to just uh, move around like this, um, in like a two D way, right? Uh, you can just move around. Like that, and now, and now, using a combination of all of these, you should be able to. Uh, sorry about that. So, sorry about that. Um, you should be able to just uh, move around your scene, 
uh, you can change where you look at. Uh, you can change your center point of where you look at by pressing Alt and then clicking the middle mouse button. That should just snap you to a different middle point. Now you can and now you can orbit around there, and and basically yeah. And if you zoom in, you should be able to zoom like that as well. Awesome. Now, uh, if everyone can just try moving around, get yourself comfortable um, with the actual, uh, get yourself comfortable with uh, moving around in Blender and using your MacBook without an external mouse. Um, How do you change it back? I'm, I'm sorry, what? How do you change it back? How do you change it back? Uh, and what back? Like, do you do Command Z to redo it? Like, the redo the mouse pointer? Uh, I don't think Control Z. Uh, works no. on that. Sorry, uh, Control Z uh, does doesn't work with that. But um, wait, what you can do, you can just uh, Alt Middle Mouse on the on the center, and then you should just be aligned with that again. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, for the people who don't have a mouse and can't use Middle Mouse, I believe um using two fingers on the mouse pad yeah mark yeah two fingers on the mouse pad i'm i'm using a macbook uh in, in my case but um two fingers on the trackpad you should be able to orbit if you press control um and then and then use two fingers you should be able to zoom like that and uh and you could pan by just pressing shift and then again two fingers that's basically the trackpad movement. So just uh, get yourself comfortable uh, with that. Uh, maybe we'll wait, uh, like we'll wait like five minutes, and then uh, just like get yourself really comfortable with that because uh, we're going to be doing a little, like a little project. So getting that three D viewer movement uh, is um, is essential. So we'll just wait around like I'd say like two minutes, maybe four twenty two. We'll come back. Uh, I'll. I'll put up the uh, I'll put up the controls real quick. Oh yeah, Ion, I think you don't have your um e capture on. Oh my bad, it paused. Uh how do I unpause this? I resume right here. Uh, right there. Yeah, let me just share again. Now your your screen cast keys. Oh yeah, I'll go fix that. Yeah, that turns off every time you close the program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll fix that. Uh, if you have a question, feel free to just put in the chat or even speak up.
Okay, so um, is everyone comfortable with the is everyone comfortable with the like moving around the three D viewer uh, of Blender? Here, let me let me go back to Blender now. Okay, so um. I installed this thing, uh, so you so you should see what I'm uh, what I'm like what keys what, what keys I'm pressing and uh, as you as you move forward, uh, you, you should be able to see what uh, what I'm pressing uh, along with my mouse stroke. So hopefully that'll help. Okay, so now that we're comfortable with the with the three D viewer movement. Uh, we'll talk about adding objects and moving them around and also just like manipulating them. So um, on your on your left here, you'll find these buttons right here. So there's uh, there's move, there's rotate, and there's scale, right? So right now we can just select our cube uh, right here and then we can go move it around by pressing this and then we can just move around on its axes, right? uh x y and z which is basically right uh in like whatever direction you, you need um you can you can move them around in one direction but you can also move them around in uh, both directions uh, in two directions at once by pressing these little squares right here you see uh if i press this we can move them around like that and then these work with uh, all the combinations. Uh, you can get the arrows by uh, pressing this right here, this button, and selecting your object. You can select it by just clicking on it. So, uh, so let's just try moving around our cube around the around the scene. Go move it around all you want right there. Okay, so now let's try rotating. Right, uh, we can rotate our cube by uh, by first selecting our rotate tool. This is this little little circle with the the arrows uh, going around it. We can select our cube, and now we can rotate it on whatever axis you want. Again. Uh, if you if you if you want to undo um, an action, you could just press Control Z. Uh, I'm on Mac, so it says Command. But uh, if you're on Windows, it should be Control Z. If you're on Mac, it's Command Z, and you could just Control Z whatever actions you need. Uh, you can. Oh, what we can also do if you select this outer ring right here. You can rotate on on uh, all three. Uh, access these at, at once if you want like that control i'm gonna uh i'm gonna undo that action by pressing the control view again so let's just try moving around our object we'll maybe we'll we'll rotate it like that we'll just create this little thing right there move it out a bit that looks nice right there and um okay uh you can delete the cube uh by pressing x and then if you press x you should just um it should just come up with this if you press x and then hit delete what x uh on your on your keyboard if you press the x key It's not working. Do you have the cube selected? Uh, how do you get the cube selected again? Uh, you can just you can just click uh click on the cube. Yep, I did. Uh, click on the cube. It's not and working. Press, press X. Okay. Uh, maybe if uh either Jason or Andrew uh, wants to help, you can, you can go into. Yeah, uh, we have someone who just joined, so I'll put both of you guys in a breakout room. Okay. Uh, so uh, I, de I deleted my cube, but um, 
I can just go add a, uh, an, another cube back. I can add another shape, right? Um, like uh, like Jerry should seeing in the chat. I can add one by pressing uh, Shift and then A. That'll just come up with this little menu right here. Then I can just hover over this mesh. All right. Um, we'll just be we'll, we'll we'll be using meshes for the for the first part, and then we could just hit cube, and now we have a cube. Um. Also, um, how do you how do you um get to the mesh menu again? Uh, Shift A. You, you press Shift, and then while pressing Shift, you press A. Okay, I see it. I see it. And then you just press cube. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, yeah, I forgot to add. We can um we we can scale up our, our object by pressing this third. Um, by using this third tool right here, this is our scale tool. Now you can just scale this up. We can scale this like over there. And we can scale this how we need, right? And then if you again use the white outer ring, we can scale it in all three directions, just like that. Now there's hotkeys for all of these, right? Um, what I mean by hotkeys is that uh, is that if you like if you just press a key on your on your keyboard, you should get the tool. But we're not going to go into that right now. We'll maybe do that next session because uh, because you. Because you need to remember those, but now we're just going to focus on just like using these tools right here to manipulate our objects. Uh, like I said before, you can delete the cube by by first selecting it, then pressing X on your keyboard, and then you should just come up with this and click delete right here. There, and you can go add it back by pressing Shift A, Mesh, and then Cube. Does that answer your question? Also, like, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Why are we, like, designing? Uh, are designing anything, or are we designing something specific? Uh, right now, we're just going over how to, how to move around and add a cube, like, adding, adding a cube. Um, Adding a cube, deleting a cube. Right, remember, it's X to delete. If you, if you select it, it's X. That's delete. And uh, yeah, we're just going over how to add a cube and then like moving it around, like just like playing with it and stuff like that. We're just, we're just going over that right now. But, uh, but in a bit, uh, after after you go over some more stuff, we'll um, we'll do a little project. And, and you'll be creating uh, something. Okay, so um, is everyone just good with the... Awesome, their... can, can you copy and paste? Uh, I do not think so. Adding a cube is shift A. And then, uh, sorry, Shift A, and then you come up with this menu, and then you hit Mesh. Uh, you you just hover over Mesh right here, and then you can then you have and you can add all, all these uh, ob objects. We're not we're just gonna add a cube for now, and like that. Yeah, and we can also do uh, if you, if you don't want to use the hockey, you can hit Add over here, and then that look and then that'll come up with the same menu. Um, so one space on the grid, uh, I don't think it's one, it's one meter, actually. This cube is one meter by, by one meter. So it actually might be half a meter, but then again, if you, um, uh, if you like, if you like zoom out a bunch or if you zoom in, Sometimes uh, the 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 spaces will change. I don't think it's happening right now, but uh, but it's. I'm pretty sure it's half a meter. Uh, 
let's go delete this cube right here. Awesome. Um, is everyone comfortable uh, with like moving around objects and like rotating them, also scaling? Just uh, if you go to Zoom, you could just, I think you can do like a reaction and then just give a thumbs up if you're, if you, if, if you want us to move on. Actually, can they do that? Uh, it's Jason or someone here. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have reactions enabled. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. also we're just testing, right? I'm sorry, what? Uh, we're just testing this website, like Blender. Like we're just getting used to it. Yeah, yeah. This is okay. this is an absolute beginner. Okay. Uh, so let's move on. Uh, how did you get another cube? Uh, I just added a new one. Actually, Shift A. And then again, it's that you just add as many, as many cubes as you want. And then uh, we, uh, we don't all, we don't just have to have to add cubes. We can add like a bunch of different objects, right? Uh, we can add. I wouldn't suggest doing this for yet, but um, we can add like a a sphere. Or something and then yeah we could just move that around right or we can add a torus which is like a donut shape and yeah so we can add a variety of objects again it's just shift a and then mesh we don't have to worry about all this other stuff right here uh, we'll get into that later Okay, so uh, now that we have that, uh, we can go. You can go move on to our, our project for the day. Um, here, let me just delete all these. So, what I, what I want you to make is a simple. Here, if I if I stop sharing real quick, and. I'm sorry, I haven't used Zoom much, but um, I share my screen and then like that. Uh, we, you can try, uh, we can try making like this simple humanoid figure. Uh, you can make it however you want. This is just an example. Uh, I just want, uh, I want you guys to try making a figure like this by just scaling objects and just give it your best shot and then just uh, give a thumbs up once you're done. Uh, no, it doesn't have to be human. Just uh, just try making just try making something out of cubes or or any object. How do you drag? Uh, to move, um, you can uh, you can use the arrows. The arrows aren't working. Have you used? Do you have the block selected? Let me go back to Blender. Okay. So uh, I'm only adding one cube for me. It's not adding any other cubes. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, just uh, you can try moving one cube out of the way, and then they might they, they might just okay. be stacking. Yeah. Okay. You see that circle in the center there? That's um where all all your objects are gonna spawn. Yeah. So, um. If you spawn one cube and then you spawn another on top of it, they'll blend together. Uh, no, it's just only one, actually. 
Okay, that's strange. Uh, Jason, do you want to try? Uh, uh, we'll do breakout rooms since you're taking a break. Um, oh, wait, actually, never mind, never mind. Are you going right. to work? Awesome. Um, you're muted. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Um, you were muted and doing something. I was confused. Oh, uh, no, no, it's fine. Can you change the brightness? I'm sorry, brightness of what? Uh, can, can, can you change like the brightness of like the, um, yeah, of this, of this website, like the blender? Uh, I don't, I don't there, think so. There is a, is there a uh, light mode? Yeah, I mean, this is kind of pretty dark for me. Um, there may be a light mode. 
Yeah, there was a light mode because, like, when I just downloaded it, it asked me what uh, mode it wanted me yeah. to have. Okay, so, yeah, I would switch I it to light, light mode. I probably kept it on dark mode, so I don't. However, um, you could just, um, you could also just um change the background of the actual thing to white. Do you do you do Let me find that for you. Okay. So uh, if you're still wondering, uh, go. Let me share my screen. Um, Ion, can you stop sharing your screen so I can? All right, so I'll just share my entire screen. Okay, so you go into Edit Preferences under Themes. You'll see right here at the top, Blender Dark. That's probably what you're using. You can change it to Blender Light, and I'll give you a white background. Um, Sorry, where do I go? Because my, um, my blender is just like loading. It's like, why? Yeah, edit preferences where we did the system stuff before. Okay. And then go to themes. Yeah, so maybe can we do it later? Because uh, my, my, my blender is not moving. It's, it's actually just loading for some reason. Like, okay. Yeah, we can do this later. Yeah, thank you, though. Thank you. Yeah, make sure you're on. Oh, I guess that won't matter. This blender is actually like um, it, it's actually like it's actually like um, well, it's loading for some reason. I'm not sure why. So do you have any tips? Um, it, it may be frozen. Yeah, it's like frozen. It's like white and um, yeah, it's it's, it's it's frozen. Um, oh uh, yeah, we didn't really teach saving your progress, did we? Um, fortunately, I think you may have to close the program. Are you oh. using Windows? Yeah, I'm using Windows computer. Okay. Um, click on what, anything, try to click. If it gives you an error message saying it's not responding, that means the program crashed. Yeah, I already closed the window and um, okay, it's yeah. not responding or anything, so yeah. Um, Blender is very intensive on your computer. And if your computer is a little slower, it will crash. Uh, maybe um, if you have uh, Google Chrome or like any any other tab that you're not currently using, uh, if you can close those, maybe that might help it. Yeah, and when you're making when you're using commands, do them one at a time. Let them fulfill first, and then do another one. Um, that's the easiest way to crash it out is do too many things at once. Just raise your hand. Well, I don't think I'm, I'm going to be done because my computer just will crash. Well, I mean, the blender crashed. Oh, that's OK. I just want to get a general gist of who is done. OK, so not many people.
Can you also show what the person would look like? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, one second. Um, second. Right here. Okay. Yep. Okay, right here. Are we using materials? Oh. Um, can you group it? I'm sorry, what? Uh, can you group it, like, um, like group it so it doesn't like, yeah, like you can move it in the group. Um, so uh, we we can do you can uh, you can select an object and then you can press shift and select another object. So now you have both objects selected, and now you can just move around like that. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can also use the highlight function of shift. So do you have to actively press shift to move them in a group uh, or? No, uh, just when selecting, you, you can press shift. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yep, of course. Okay, so um, while uh, while everyone's still working. Um, I just want to show something. Uh, if you want to change the color of your uh, of your person or uh, or whatever you're making, uh, you you can um, you, uh, you can go on, you can go down to this right side, and you can uh, just go just go down to this ball right here, uh, where it shows that uh, where it shows this like little like I don't know what to call that, but it's but it's like a ball, right? Uh, you can just go to base color right here, and then you can change uh, the color. You won't be able to see it right now, but if you also go over here, you can, you can change what your three D view you're actually like is showing. Uh, so if you just go to this third option right here, uh, you can change the color to how you want it. I can make it pink. I can also I can make, I can make it red. 
Um, I think I'm going to go with green for now. But uh, but you can change it to whatever color uh, you want. Yeah, and also, how do you unselect? Uh, you could just click off. Uh, uh, if, well, if you want to unselect all of it, you just click off. If you want to unselect some of it, press shift and click on the ones you don't want to select. Got it. Thank you. How can make different things different colors? Um, I think we may have to do that a different time. We'll do it next time. Um, that is a little more complicated. Um, we only have what seven minutes left. Um, let me find. Sh should I share the donut video? Um, no, we can do that. Um, we can do that. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll share that like the the donut tutorial just for anyone who wants to do anything between this week and next week. Um, you can raise your hand, but uh, if you go to participants, I think you can, uh, you should have something over there. Or actually. You go into reactions and then right at the very bottom, there should be something that says raise hand. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I haven't used Zoom in, in quite a while. I have used it in a really long time either. Thank God. Okay, so we have five minutes left. Um, wherever you are in uh, uh, in making your project, um, you can you, you can continue work even uh, even okay. after we're done uh, with this. But uh, but we have five minutes left uh, of like time we can teach. Um, so, did you send that uh, model to us? Uh, we actually have um, we actually have a Google Drive link. Let me, let me put the link to that in uh, in yeah. the chat. Oh, did you pack the resources for this? Because um, I know you did really well, but oh, yeah, because well, everything's just gonna be pink. No, I didn't have it. Yeah, um, so I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, um, to save your project. So you don't lose it. Just do Control S, like any other um, program. Um, name it whatever you want. Um, I will be sharing in the chat. Let me make sure I have it. Hold on. All right. So I think this should be the right one. All right, so the chat uh, link that I shared is to the Blender Donut tutorial. It is a rite of passage for uh, anyone using Blender. Everyone creates a donut. Everyone shares a donut. There's whole forums online about sharing your donut. And this will take you through a bunch of the intro UI that we did. And of course, you'll be able to go through and you can get ahead of the class, maybe even. Um, and it's in a couple of hours, maybe uh, create your first full Blender model. Um, can I show you my core that I just made? Uh, I guess. Share screen. Um, Actually, um, we have a car. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. I'm trying to make it a soft body currently, so I can make the car go squish. Wow, that's cool. All right, uh, we have three minutes. 
Yep, yep. Uh, and um, I'm just gonna put in, uh, I'm just gonna put a link in the chat to uh, to Google Drive. Uh, this will take you to uh, the project uh, re repository. So um, it's right there. You, you can find uh, the files uh, and um, and how like and uh, what we're doing uh, for for each day. Uh, you'll find the blend file, which you can just um, you can open in, in Blender and and see like what we've done for that day. And um, we only have two minutes left, so if anyone has any quick questions, please speak up now, or you'll have to wait till next time. How do you make um, a sphere bigger? Mm -hmm. A sphere? Uh, Use the scale function. Um, let me share my screen. And also, um, everyone, um, before you leave, um, I'm just going to put in the chat uh, a Google form. So um, that form is just a little survey asking, uh, asking like, how, like, how'd you like the class? And uh, and it'll help us if you, um, it'll help us maybe give you um, a better teaching experience next time. Um, for the person asking if you want to how to change the size of a circle. A sphere. Or a sphere. Um, let me move this. OK, so it's just the same scale. Use S. Uh, you'll be able to scale it up. Or it's this thing here on toolbar. Um, there's a way to scale in different directions. 